When it comes to pipelines, passions are flaring perhaps like never before in this country on both sides of the debate. And David Suzuki may be caught in the crossfire. The University of Alberta is granting the environmentalists an honorary degree, but Suzuki has said the oil sands should be shut down. So awarding him with a degree is striking a nerve inside the energy-heavy province. Some companies and alumni have pulled their donations, but the university is forging ahead with the tribute. Is that a smart move, or could it deepen divisions over pipelines and oil? Joining me now from the foyer of the House of Commons to University of Alberta alumni, Alberta Conservative MP Matt Genru and Alberta NDP MP Linda Duncan. Hi to both of you. Thanks for being with us. Hello. Hi. Okay, Mr. Genru, I'm going to start with you. Why are you opposed to the University of Alberta's decision to award Mr. Suzuki an honorary degree? Yeah, you know, Vashi, I was disappointed to see that uh, the honorary degree was being given to, to Dr. Suzuki, especially in the midst of what we're seeing right now is a national crisis with the, the Kinder Morgan pipeline decision. We have two provinces essentially battling against each other, and now uh, in the midst of it, the uh, University of Alberta has decided to bestow uh, upon Dr. Suzuki an, an award for this. You know, this is somebody, Dr. Suzuki, somebody who has consistently spoke out against the, the oil sands and against the uh, oil and gas sector, which is a, a large proponent of what what the University of Alberta grads go on and, and into work with. So at the end of the day, we're, I'm, I'm asking the president to rescind the decision to bestow the honorary degree on Dr. Suzuki. Okay, what's your reaction to that, Ms. Duncan? Well, I frankly am appalled that former graduates and people who are donating to my alma mater will withdraw their monies for this reason. I'm proud of my institution because it exists to foster debate and critical thinking. I mean, David Suzuki has done far more than speak out on a particular pipeline. He's received accolades from around the planet for his work. Let's think about nature things. Every child in Canada knows who David Suzuki is. Um, he's had hundreds of awards for his media. He's had honorary degrees from the United States, Canada, Australia. Um, he's had he's a companion of the Order of Canada for heaven's sakes. I think people should get get a little bit thicker skin uh, Awards have been given out to all kinds of people in the energy sector in the business sector all kinds of sectors and The Senate in their wisdom decided that they wanted to honor David Suzuki for all the work that he's done in fostering education on science and the environment and I think it's a great choice does Miss Duncan have a point Mr. Genru is this just more about the timing of it than the actual uh, th then, then they're actually being a problem with Mr. Suzuki getting an award? Timing is absolutely uh, an important factor in this, but this is also, let's remember, somebody who's equated the oil and gas sector to 19th century slavery. This is somebody who's... But is he entitled to his views? Pardon me? Is he entitled to his views? Yeah, absolutely. He's entitled to his views, but he's not entitled to the awards that go along with his views. And that's that's the issue I have with this. It's right now we're in the midst of, again, a national crisis between Alberta and British Columbia. And we're asking to simply not put not bestow this degree upon Dr. Suzuki at this time. It sends the wrong message to the university. It sends a wrong message to a number of people who are unemployed in the oil and gas sector. Listen, I have constituents in my office daily who are saying that they are out of work and because of what's happened in the oil and gas sector and a number of the issues that the, the, this government, the Liberal government has done, uh, made decisions that they've made and now to go and choose to bestow an honorary degree upon Dr. Suzuki, it, it sends the wrong message at absolutely the wrong time. And what about that, Ms. Duncan? Is it is it kind of a really difficult time to take to to bestow an honor on someone like Mr. Suzuki? People in Alberta are hurting, I'm sure you know firsthand. Of course people are hurting because of the price of oil. And that's not David Suzuki's fault, nor is it the government of Alberta's fault, nor is it the previous <laughs> government's fault. Um, David Suzuki is being honored for the amount of work he's done for many decades in Canada. He once worked at the University of Alberta. Many other people have given him accolades, including the University of Calgary. That's back and in so, 1986. I was, was fine in 1986. Time. He's entitled to have his opinions. Let's wait and see what the university says when this is bestowed on him. My guess is they're going to bestow it for exactly what I'm saying. I haven't heard anybody saying he is getting this award because he's opposed to the oil sands or against pipelines. He's being bestowed this honor because of all the work that he has done to educate people around the world on the importance of sustainability, the environment, and acting on climate change. And kudos to him and kudos to my alma mater. Mr. Genru, uh, Mr. Suzuki spoke at the University of Calgary just a few months ago. Did you have a problem with that then? 
Yeah, you know, we're, we have somebody who's speaking out consistently uh, within Alberta, with, across the country, against the oil sands sector. And right now we're trying to convince the government that this project in Kinder Morgan is important, it needs to get built, and to have unhelpful voices like Dr. Suzuki, especially in, in places like Alberta, Calgary, and Edmonton, isn't helpful for the, for the larger conversation that we're trying to have. So, so Dr. Suzuki, at, at the end of the day, has, has now, as hundreds of, of people, graduates, alumni, are now choosing not to donate to my alma mater, something I'm absolutely proud of. They're choosing now not to donate because they're bestowing this degree upon. We just saw the Edmonton Chamber come out today. Moody's Gartner came out yesterday. A number of private donors have decided not to do this. This is something that is sending the wrong message, and I simply ask the, the president to rescind the uh, honorary degree at this time. So you don't even think he should be allowed to speak at a university campus in Alberta? No, he's entitled to his opinion, but again, he's not entitled to those awards for those opinions. So you're okay with the speech he gave at the U of C, just not the honorary degree at the U of A? I'm not, I'm not okay with him going out and consistently attacking our oil sector, especially in a time with right now where we're facing a national crisis. But isn't that free speech? Isn't that something your party defends so voraciously? Vashi, we're absolutely okay with, with he, can, he can come in to, to different universities to different to, and s say his message, but right now what isn't helpful is for him to do this and to come in during a, a national crisis and be awarded for those speeches, be awarded for those views. This is a, a, a national crisis right now that, that's going on, and to go and send the wrong message optically by the University of Alberta and giving him this honor degree is not something that uh, we need to, to continue the, the conversation the Kinder Morgan fight. You know what the crisis is right now? We're debating Bill C-69, and that is the new environmental impact assessment process that the Liberals promised they would implement and not approve any projects. Why did they feel they had to do that? Because there was complete lack of trust by Indigenous Canadians and a lot of Canadians in the way decisions were made on major resource projects. I understand and that, so, but the Liberals aren't here to defend themselves. I just want no, to keep us on track on this what issue. What I'm saying is, is, is there is a difference of opinion in this country right now in the direction we're going in. Mr. Suzuki has one opinion, many others have other opinions. I don't think we can castigate the Senate of the University of Alberta for honoring somebody who has contributed to society and educating young children and many Canadians about the importance of science. That is why he's being honored for his long-standing work. And I think it is outrageous that people would say they're going to withdraw their donation to the university because they don't like one decision like this about giving an but honorary degree. But should an energy company have to give money to an organization that gives someone who is wants the oil sands shut down uh, an honorary degree? Should other people give money to university if the university says we're not going to honor people who have a different opinion? <laughs> so of course it's optional. Anybody has the right to decide where they're going to donate their money. What I find offensive is for this one reason, they're saying they're going to withdraw their donation, which supports the right of Indigenous people to participate, those who don't have as much money to go to university, towards valuable research, including cleaning up our oil and gas sector. I think it's an absurd decision to withdraw the money for this reason. Okay. When they donate, they can say, I want my dollars to go towards this purpose. But I think it's a different uh, decision here to be saying the Senate doesn't have a right to decide who they would like to honor. Okay, I've got to wrap it up there, but I really appreciate both of you making time for the debate. Thank <laughs> Thanks you very much. Matt General and Linda Duncan.